Hey guys, all right, today I have another reformer workout for you. Today we're gonna focus really heavy on those abdominals, and I know we hit the abs every time, right? Because this is Pilates, so it all generates from the core, but we're gonna hit them really heavy today. Okay, so very ab focused and inner thigh focused today. So those two things are gonna be burning when you leave me. That's the plan, I want you to feel them tomorrow, okay? So, nice and sweaty workout. Not too many props today, you need your reformer box, so have that alongside. We're not gonna use it straight away, but it'll come into play pretty fast, so have that ready to go. And then your jump board up and ready. Okay, we're gonna start with some roll-ups, but we're gonna use that jump board to get started. So have that jump board up. I am on the balanced body reformer, so I'm using one light spring that is one blue spring that I have hooked up. If you're on another uh, brand of reformer, one spring is probably just fine. Okay, just wanna make it a lighter spring. Um, your headrest can be up if you'd like it to be up. Okay, because we're gonna start on our back. So that's totally up to you. And that's it. All right, let's get started. All right, so you're gonna lie down on your reformer. Shoulders up against those shoulder blocks. But I want you to give yourself a little bit of space between the shoulder and the shoulder blocks, okay? Because we're gonna be rolling up. I, they may get in the way just a bit, but I want you to start you out of the way, okay? You're gonna bring those feet flat onto the jump board and we're gonna lengthen all the way out to a nice long body. Now, in this position before we do anything else, I want you to find that heavy tailbone. My feet are flat. I know you feel like you're floating because you're on one light spring, but we want to ground the feet flat, okay? Tailbone heavy, belly button pulled up and in, ribs are closed, we've got a little tiny space in our low back but it's not big because we want to keep the ribs closed. All right, we're going to bring those arms up towards the ceiling. Fingertips are at underarm height. And from here, we're going to keep those legs straight. As we exhale, we're going to nod the chin to the chest and we're going to round the spine and we're rolling all the way up to a fully seated position, reaching up out of that low back. Good, on your inhale, you're going to curl the tailbone, the low back, the mid back all the way down, back to those shoulders, and all the way down. Exhale, nod that chin, round the spine, drawing yourself all the way up. There's no momentum here. Okay, I want you to find the lift from those deep abdominal muscles. So there's no ha to get up, okay? No yank of the arms. Exhale, start by nodding your chin because that's gonna start the rounding of the spine from the base of the skull. Drawing that belly button up and in as you lift, lifting up onto the tips of those sitting bones. Keeping the feet nice and flat, we're gonna inhale as we curl the tailbone, the low back, the mid back, good, and then you're gonna slip back a little bit with that spring resistance so the shoulder blocks are gonna get closer and closer. We're gonna go two more. Exhale, nod the chin rounding the spine, drawing yourself all the way up, sitting up out of that low back. Good, inhale, round that spine one vertebrae at a time. We take it nice and slow. Legs are still straight, I'm not bending those knees. Good, we're gonna go one more. Exhale, round and curl, nodding it up. Sitting up out of that low back. Good, laying it all the way down, nice and slow, rounding through the spine. Good, if you need to adjust through those shoulder blocks, now would be the time to do it, okay? We're gonna alternate lift of a leg. So, we're gonna take that left leg and we're gonna lift it so the toes are just above that jump board. We're gonna do that same roll up. Exhale, nod the chin, round the spine, drawing that belly button all the way up, lifting. Good, and on your inhale, you're gonna round it back down, nice and slow with control. Good, we're gonna set that left foot back down. We're gonna take that right foot up. We're gonna curl and round and lift and reach up out of that low back. And then we're gonna sit it all the way back down, or lay it all the way back down onto that surface. Left leg up, exhale, round and curl, drawing yourself up, reaching out of the low back, curling and rounding it down nice and slow. Good, last time on that right side, we're gonna add on a little bit more. Lift. We're gonna add a twist on our next one. So we're gonna be picking up that left leg just the same as we did before, but we're gonna rotate through the torso as we lift. So left leg is off the jump board, right foot is flat. You're gonna exhale, nod the chin round, and as you lift, you're gonna rotate the right rib basket as those right fingers reach for your toes. And then you're gonna come all the way back down. Good, and we're gonna switch feet. Right foot comes up. 
Exhale, nod and round, lifting all the way up, rotating the left ribs, reaching for that toe, and then coming all the way back down. Now, I know we're using our hands right to reach for the toe, but I want you to think about those ribs and what they're doing as you rotate. Okay, that right wrist rib basket, twist towards that left inner thigh, and then we bring it back down. Last time on the right, reach that right foot up, lift, nod and curl, rotate left ribs to right inner thigh, and all the way down. Okay, we're gonna go one more time to the left, but we're gonna hold it up there this time. So left foot is lifted, round and curl. Good, you're gonna rotate to the left. Good, now from here, we're gonna roll just halfway down and we're gonna hold it, and now we're gonna pulse that little twist. Pulse and lift. So I'm lifting or curling my right ribs one inch closer to that left inner thigh. It's a little pulse, a little twisted pulse. Good, holding it there. Good, you've got four, three, two, hopefully there's a little tremble coming. Good, on your next one, roll it back through center, round it all the way down. Good, right foot's gonna lift. We're gonna exhale, nod and curl, coming all the way up, finding that twist, rolling halfway back holding it there, and that little one-inch twisted pulse. Good, reaching those left ribs just a little bit closer, twisting them a little bit closer towards that right inner thigh. It's a little twist to reach. Make sure those shoulders are away from the ears. That little tremble and shake should be happening a little more this time. Four, three, two, and take it back through center and roll it all the way down, guys. So good, all right, give yourself a little bit more space from those shoulder blocks again. Feet are gonna come into first position now. So heels together, toes turned out. That's the position you want with your feet, a little V. All right, feet are nice and flat. We're gonna do some jumps through first position. Okay, but well we're gonna start with straight legs. So find that neutral spine again. Pull that belly button up and in. Arms are long by your side. From here, we're gonna resist the urge to bend the knees. We're gonna exhale, and we're gonna roll through the heels onto the balls of the feet, and then all the way back down to the heels. Inhale, roll off the heels onto the balls of the feet, and then back down. Now we're gonna add that little hop, that little hop. Okay, but we're keeping those heels glued together. They are super glued together. Now, there's a lot to hold up here for that lower belly, okay, and those abdominals. So I want you to think about really drawing that belly button up and in and keeping those ribs closed because a lot of times on straight leg jumps, the first thing I hear is my low back hurts, okay? Chances are if your low back hurts, your ribs are opening, okay? They're flailing and now I've got a real big arch right here in my low back and I'm gripping, I have a gripping sensation. That's not what you want. So keep those ribs closed like a corset. Tighten them up. That inhale breath takes you out. That's gonna lengthen the internal body, dropping that diaphragm. Good, inner thighs are zipped up. Okay, landing in first position, leaving in first position. Good, holding it here for eight, seven, six, five, four. Good, last three, two, on your next one, you're gonna let those knees bend and we're gonna take it out for a little bigger hop. So first position still, full range of motion jumps. So you're allowing those knees to bend, but I want you to think about zipping up those inner thighs here. Okay, that one light spring gives you lots of air time. So it's challenging, more challenging on the core to have light weight through those springs when you jump because there's more air time, more hang time. So the abdominals are forced to hold those legs in midair. Good, so I want you to think about that right here. Good, last four, we're gonna add an ab curl. Last three, two, good, last one. Pause for just a moment, take those legs nice and straight. Hands are gonna come behind the head or up in front of you, okay? So find your best ab curl. For me with the shoulder blocks, I like to just have my arms straight out. So I'm gonna exhale and reach and lift the shoulder blades off the carriage. Just the tips. Okay, from here we're gonna exhale, bend those knees. Inhale, take it out for that full range again. Zipping up those inner thighs. Good, you guys. 
So on that ab curl, you're reaching for lots of length. Okay, so as you came into that ab curl, I hope you thought about the tractioning of the skull. So we get lots of length through the spine. Chin is far away from the chest. It's not a crunch. We're holding this curl. Good. Heels touch down every time you land on that jump board. You should feel those abdominals trembling. Good. We're here for four. Last three. Last two. We're going to do a little scissor kick. On your next one, the right leg is going to scissor up, landing on the left, and then we switch. So they're meeting in first position in midair, and then we take one and we scissor it up over the jump board. Good. Always meeting in first position. Inhale out, exhale down. Good. If the hands need to come behind the skull for a little extra cradle, Okay, that's fine. Find what works for you and your body. Good, excellent, you guys. Keep meeting first position in air. Good, holding that first position as you reach that leg over the jump board. We've got four. Good, last three. You've got two. Last one. Now we're going to land once wide and once back in first position. Good. Once wide and once back in first position. So I'm staying in ex external rotation when I take those legs wide. Okay. If you need to release the ab curl, you can still keep those arms up. Okay. Or you can keep that ab curl there. But challenge that body. We're not here much longer. Your feet are landing the width of the jump board. Make sure those toes don't come off the edge of your jump board. We want a full foot connection every time. Good. You're here for six. Last five. You've got four. Last three. Good. Last two. On your next one, we're going to go into an air jumping jack. Okay, so it's going to look like this and land in first. Out and land in first. Out, in first. So we're going wide into that straddle, holding external rotation from the hip. Keep reaching that ab curl. If you need to let it go for a minute, let it go. Okay, and then reset because this is it. Good. Nice, you guys. Hang on to it. Good. You're here for eight. Last seven. You've got six. Last five. Four. Heels down every time. Last three. Last two. And last one. And bring it all the way in. Whew. Hug those knees into your chest. Ooh, nice little jump sequence to start everything off. Whew, okay, from here, we're going to come into some movement, um, some ab movement side facing. So, I'm going to turn and face you guys first. So I turn to the right side of my machine. Leave your spring on that one loop. We're going to take that long loop, okay, and we're going to take it around the right thigh. So all the way up above the knee. You're going to scoot your tailbone or your booty all the way forward to the very edge of the carriage and you're going to lay back. Now watch your head. It's not going to have any support when you lie back. So nice and slow. Hold on to that shoulder block. Come on down. Now when you're down there, I want you to use the shoulder blocks to scooch the tailbone all the way to the very edge of the carriage. Okay, hands are going to come behind the head, thumbs long down the neck. Okay, so we're cradling the skull. Legs are going to come into a tabletop position, shins parallel to the floor. Now, we're going to be holding the inner line of the foot together. All right, now, before we do anything else, keeping those elbows wide, we're going to find an ab curl. So from that neutral spine position, we're going to exhale and round it up and hold. Okay, so we've got lots of length between the navel and the pubic bone. From here, we're going to open our knees, okay, or open those inner thighs. So. Exhale, open and close. Open and close. Good. So the carriage is only going to move a couple inches. It's not going to be big. 
but already my abdominals are trembling because of that jump sequence. Okay, so I hope you feel that little shake, okay, through that anterior core. Right here. Good, holding it there Get into those deep, deep abdominals. So good, inner thighs open and close. We keep the inner line of the foot together. Elbows stay wide because remember, we're cradling the skull. Okay, we're not yanking on the neck. It is all being done right here. Good, you've got four. We're gonna come into some froggy bends. Last three, two, last one. All right, holding it close. Now, my legs are gonna go in first position, so heels together, knees are open a little bit. We're gonna extend the legs out, zip up the inner thighs, and bring it back into that froggy position. Inhale, lengthen it out, zip up those inner thighs, and then bring it all the way back. Now, when you bring those legs back, the knees are not opening too wide. They're still, kneecaps are still tracking with my big toe, second toe. The knees, they stop over my hips. They don't come to my chest. Okay, they stop over the hips. Keep that abdominal curl there, don't let it go. Zip it up and bring it back. Good, six. Last five. Good, you guys. You've got four. Last three. Really got those inner thighs kissed. Last two. On your next one, you're gonna hold the legs extended. Now we're gonna open into a straddle and close. Whoo, open and close. Hang on to that ab curl. Don't let it go, don't let it go. Yes, we're here for four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Hold your neck straddle open. Hold it there. Take the hands away from the back of the skull. Reach those fingertips and pulse them forward. Little deepening of that ab curl. Good. Forward. Forward. Excellent. The lower you can bring those legs, the more you're going to challenge the core. But watch the arc in the low back. It is very teeny tiny. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and bring it all the way in, guys. Woo! Come on up, because you have no support for your head back there. I know that. All right, take off that long loop, and now we're going no springs. Woo! We're going to hit those inner thighs a little heavier, right? Give the, the front, <laughs> keep the deep abdominals a little bit of a break. All right, take that blue spring off, and let that carriage slide all the way back. Now, you're going to take your box. Okay, and we're gonna bring it onto the front rails, just in front of that jump board. Okay, you wanna slide it all the way up against the jump board. Now, depending on your reformer, you may have to adjust or tweak things a little bit, but you just want it in a nice and sturdy position, okay? So, I've got, I made sure that it's equal on both sides of the rails, and it's not going anywhere. All right, so now that you've got your box on those front rails, you're gonna take your left forearm, to the box, okay? Both feet are gonna come onto the carriage, you've got your carriage all the way back, and you're gonna find your best side plank. Now your bottom leg, your left leg, is gonna bend and hang in midair, okay? The right leg is on the carriage, but not your left anymore. Right arm up to the ceiling. Now that bottom leg is gonna open and close. Open and close, like a little door. Open and close. Open. And close, those inner thighs are zipping up. We've got four, because so we're gonna add on. Last three. We've got two. Last one. Now taking it from here, you're gonna sweep that left leg forward, point the toe, bend the knee, bring it back, open the door. Close the door, sweep it forward, bring it back, open the door. Good. Whew. All right, right here, three more. Sweep it forward. Bring it back, open the door, sweep it forward, Woo. bring it back, close the door, sweep it forward, this is your last one, open, close, sweep it forward, bring it back, and set that left leg down, Woo. nice job, that's an intense one. All right, turning to face forward, okay, we're going to come into a forearm plank, forearm plank, <laughs> both forearms on the box, okay? So, 
both forearms down, both feet on the carriage. Okay, that carriage is all the way up against the rear. From here, okay, we're going to find some spinal flexion. So, looking down at that box, lifting up out of that shoulder girdle. On your exhale, you're going to nod the chin, round the spine, and maybe your low abdominals and your inner thighs can pull that, core, pull that carriage in just a half an inch. Exhale, round and curl. Can we pull the carriage in a little? And then inhale, take it back. Good, exhale, round and curl. And back. Good, let's go three more. Exhale, round and curl. And bring it back. Woo, last two. Round and curl. And back. Good, last one, exhale, nod and curl. Hold it here. Now, we're going to go some single leg knee pose. So, starting with the left knee. Left knee is going to pull in towards the box. And now we're going to round and curl. Bring it back. Set the left leg down. Right knee. Pull it in. Round and curl. Send it back to a flat back. Right foot down. Left knee. Hold. Round and curl. And bring it back. Set the left leg down, right knee in, round and curl, send it back, right foot down, two more guys, left knee in, hold, round and curl, bring it back, set the left leg down, last one, right knee in, hold, round and curl, send it back, right foot down, step into the well. Ooh, guys, so good. Take a quick little stretch right here, releasing through the shoulders. So my arms are just, my forearms are flat on the box. I'm reaching those sits bones back for a nice flat back tabletop position. Hold it there. Good, and breathe. All right, we're coming on to the other side for that inner thigh lift. So I'm going to be facing away from you. Right forearm is going to come down onto that box. Okay, both feet on the carriage for that plank to get set up. Okay, so... Right forearm down. Here we go. Woo! I know these are tough, guys. Stay with me. We're going to lengthen out into our best side plank. Now, keeping the left foot on the carriage, my right knee is going to bend. Line those knees up, okay? Left arm up to the ceiling. We're going to open and close. Open and close. Good. Open, close. Open, close. Four more. Open and close it. Good. Nice long leg through that left side body. Last two. Whew. Keeping that belly button up and in. Now, on your next one, you're going to hold it close. We're going to sweep that right leg forward, point the toe, bring it back, open the door, close the door, and forward. Bring it back, open the door. Good. Last four. Whew. And bring it in. We've got three. We can do it. Good. Last two. Woo! Last one. And bring it all the way in. Woo! Guys, I know those last couple are. I'm mean, not sure if I can hang on to it at that point. All right, guys. So now, staying here. We're going to flip around. Feet are going to be on the box, but hands are going to be on that carriage, okay? So, we're going to come into a flamingo here. So, Hands are going to come onto the carriage position. Um, your feet are going to come onto the box. Now, once you've got that high plank, okay, make sure making sure those shoulders are over the wrist. You're going to bring the right foot down into the well, so it's underneath the hip and the foot is flat on the well, okay, or flat on the floor. From here, okay, we're going to draw the right knee in towards the chest, okay. I'm going to curl the spine. So on your exhale. You're going to draw that right knee in, curl the spine, and bring it back down. Exhale, round and curl, draw the knee towards the forehead, and bring it back. Good, so I'm rounding and I'm curling, so I'm looking at the box. I'm drawing the knee up and in. Good, keeping the toe pointed. Good, let's go for four. Good, last three. Good, you've got two. 
Last one. Now, on your next one, we're going to curl it up. Now, we're going to extend the right leg back. So, come back to that flat back. Right leg is going to sweep to the side, tap the side of the box, and sweep and tap center. Sweep and tap the side. Sweep and tap center. Holding that high plank position. Okay? Eyes between the palms. You're drawing a little half a rainbow with that right leg. Good. We're here for four more. Whoo! Yes, last three. Last two. And last one. Whoo, boy. Bring it all the way back to the box and bring those feet down into the well. Whoo, come on up. All right, we're gonna come into some teaser action, okay? Some propped up teaser work. So, sitting on that carriage. Now, on this one, the carriage may shimmy a little back and forth because it's just on the rails and with your movement, it may move, just ignore that. I want you to keep moving with precision in your form. So, ignore the movement of the carriage, okay? Now, sits bones are down on that carriage, close to the edge, but forearms are gonna come down behind you. So we wanna make sure that those elbows are underneath the shoulders. From here, we're gonna bring both legs up into tabletop position. Okay, so you want knees over hips, shins parallel to the floor, okay? Now, we're holding the core and those ribs together. From here, we're gonna extend the legs out, and bring them back to the bent position. Okay, that's it. Straighten them out and bring them back. Yes, inhale, extend, and exhale, bend them in. Good, it's your reach and bring them back. That's it, nice and simple. Good. Whew. All right, let's go for a four. See, my carriage is starting to move. I'm just gonna ignore it. Three, two, All right, on your next one, you're gonna hold the legs long. Now, we're gonna tap the box, if you can reach it, and up. Otherwise, you're going down three inches, and up. Good, watch your low back, keep the belly button pulled up and in. Everything should be a little trembly here. Good, we're light on those forearms. Yes, it's all core right here. We're here for four, whew, last three, Last two. All right, on your next one, you're gonna hold those legs straight. We're gonna scissor the right leg down, left arm is gonna reach for the, or sorry, right arm is gonna reach for the left toes, and bring it back. Scissor the left leg down, right leg up. Twist and reach for those toes, and come back. Left, or right leg down, so the right leg reaches across, the right arm reaches across the body, so my directions are all mixed up because I'm shaking so much. It's a twist towards the higher leg. You're twisting those ribs towards that inner thigh again. Good, that little reach. Everything should be trembling. That's good. That's all that connected tissue. That's what we want. Good, we're here for four. Last three. Oh boy. Last two. One. Hold your next one there. Reach your right arm out. Good, left arm now, full teaser hold for six, five, four, three, two, and bring it all the way down, guys. Oh boy, <laughs> good, reach for that box. Good, feet are flat through the well. And stretch out through that back a little bit. Okay, let's come into that high plank again, other leg. Okay, so carriage still has no springs. Box is still where it is. Coming back into that high plank position, this time the left foot is gonna be in the well, okay? So, hands down, pretty close to the edge of that carriage. Feet up on the box, both feet up there, all right? From here, my left foot is gonna come back to the well, okay? Now, we're gonna draw that right knee in as we round the spine, okay? So, or so not my right knee, my left knee uh, in as we round the spine. So, on your exhale, you're going to nod the chin round, draw the left knee in, and send it back down. Good. Exhale, round and curl, and take it back. Good. It's a round and curl, 
and back. Good, rounding that spine, finding that deep flexion as you draw the knee towards the forehead. Exhale, round, keeping the shoulders over the wrists, lifting up out of that shoulder girdle. Good, let's go for four. Good, keeping those hips level. Okay, really need to fight for that left hip to get up there. Good, last three. Last two. Good, and last one. On your next one, you're going to draw it up, and we're going to reach back to a flat back as that left leg comes over the box. Now we're going to tap center and sweep and tap the side to center, to the side. Good, it's a little half a rainbow. Good, keeping that little arc, tapping the big toe. Good, you're here for six. Woo! Five. Last four, you've got three. Last two, and last one. And bring it all the way back into the well. Woo, guys, <laughs> that's a tough day, huh? Good job, good job. All right, from here, we're gonna take that box off. Hallelujah. So take the box off the rails, bring it down onto the side. Okay, I'm feeling it with you. I'm feeling it with you. We're doing it together. Let's bring it back. Hook up that blue spring. All right, now, from here, I'm gonna make sure I don't forget anything. We're facing the other way on our back, okay? So, you're gonna come down, seated on the carriage, but facing the left side of the reformer. Okay, so I'm gonna be away from you. Take that long loop, okay? And take it around your left thigh the thigh closest to the shoulder box. Scoop your booty all the way forward and then you're gonna lay down on your back. Use the shoulder blocks to scoot yourself forward, okay? Now, from here, hands are gonna come behind the skull. Thumbs long down the back of the neck, okay? We're gonna think about that tractioning lift. Bring those legs into tabletop. Find that neutral spine, elbows wide. Exhale. Curl it up to that ab curl and hold. Okay, from here, keeping the inner line of the foot together, we're gonna open the inner thighs and close. Open and close. That carriage is only gonna move a few inches. Okay, don't worry about the carriage. I want you to think about your form and where you're feeling this movement. Every time you bring those inner thighs together, I want you to funnel that low belly closed. Okay, right now my ribs are funneling down into my pelvis. Good. Inner thighs kiss. Excellent. Inner line of the foot's glued together. We've got four. We're going to do those froggy bends next in three. Last two. All right, on your next one, holding it closed. We're going to send those legs forward. Feet are in first position. Inner thighs closed. And then we bend the knees back. Send those legs out, zip up the inner thighs, and bring the knees back. Remember those kneecaps are tracking with big toe, second toe, as they move in and out. The knees stop over the hips. Every time we bring them in, shins are parallel to the floor. So we're not, we're bringing the knee forward, okay? We're not flexing at the knee or bending the heels towards the butt. Extend those legs out, zip up those inner thighs. Think about that low belly like a little V, funneling right out the heel. Whew. Let's go for four. Good, last three. It's hard to cue you guys through abdominal work. Good, last two. All right, you guys, your next one, we're gonna hold the legs long. We're gonna open into a straddle and close. I don't want you to let this be sloppy, okay? Keep the back of the knees open. Legs are straight. We're still holding that ab curl. We're cradling the skull, okay? Every time I close the legs, I zip up those inner thighs and that low belly, like a little V. Funnel it into the inner thigh. Good, you guys. That straddle is not super wide. Okay, we want it to be manageable. We're here for four. Last three. Good, you've got two. Last one. Hold your next one open. Hands
hands come from behind the head, pulse the fingertips forward. Forward, little extra curl. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Fold it all the way in, guys. Come on up. Take that strap off. Whew. All right, now we're gonna come into some V sit work, but we're gonna stay facing this direction. So I know normally I face you first on my first move, but because we're already facing this way and just for flow, it's nice to have us kind of stay that same direction. So I want you to stay side facing. You're gonna scoot all the way back on the carriage, closer to the back edge. Leave about two to three inch gap. Your heels are gonna come to the very front edge, okay? And you just need the edges of your heel there, just a little support. We're gonna be rolling back, okay? But first, I want you to sit up as straight as you can with those knees bent, okay? From here, we're gonna lean, okay, lean back one inch, and now we're gonna curl the tailbone in the mid back, and we're gonna hold it right there, okay? So we've got that roll, we've got that belly button pulled up and in. I want you to reach forward, Okay, and we're gonna grab the, the loop furthest away from you, so the one closest to your feet. Grab your short loop, okay, and that short loop is gonna come into the left hand, and that left arm is gonna be in a half of a T. So the elbow is bent, palm facing down. Right hand can come to the carriage to start, okay? Close those inner thighs, and from here, we're gonna inhale as we take that left arm across the body, look at those left fingers, and bring it back. So it's a little twist. Twisting those left ribs again towards that right inner thigh. Good. As you twist, try to keep that left shoulder away from the ear. Good. Now that right arm can come out if you feel like you've got the support and the strength to hold that up without the hand on the carriage. Okay, that hand should be light regardless of where it is. Good. Good. Keep breathing into it. Inhale. Exhale back. Four more just like that. Inhale, twist. Exhale back. Good. Last three. Bring it back. Good. You've got two. Whew. Good, you guys. Last one. All right. Now on the next one, we're going to take that right leg and we're going to extend it long. Okay, now that those left ribs are still reaching towards that right inner thigh. Same movement. We're going to inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it back. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it back. Good. Four more, just like that. Keep reaching that back of the right knee open. Point those toes. Think about that inner thigh. Reaching right out the big toe. Good. Last two. Right leg is trembling. Last one. And bring it all the way in and come on up, guys. Nice chop. Hang up that long loop. Okay, we're going to turn and face forward. Now we're going to do some tailbone teaser jumps. So for these, I love these. These are one of my favorites. Feet are going to come onto the jump board, okay? Now, you're going to lengthen all the way out. Heels are together, toes turned out. So we're still in first position. Because remember, today we're focusing on abs and inner thigh. So that first position is really going to help us kind of tailor that movement to the inner thigh. Okay. Now, we're going to sit far enough forward that those hands can be behind us in front of the shoulder blocks. Fingers nice and wide. Suction cup through the palm. Fingertips are turned out, so we're externally rotated. I want you to go ahead and soften those elbows, and those legs are still extended. Mine, mine bent there for a little bit. Okay. Now, in this position, we're going to jump. So I want you to sit up nice and tall to start. Okay, we're going to lean and roll off the tips of the sitting bones. Okay, good. Now right here, we're going to exhale as we bend both knees. Inhale, zip it up for a little hop. Good. So little tailbone teaser jumps. So every time we leave that jump board, we're in teaser. Okay, we've got support from the palms, but we're not leaning onto those arms. So we're staying really lifted out of the shoulders. We're not collapsing there. Okay, we're lifted out of the low back, and we've got that belly button and those ribs engaged. Good. Remember that inhale breath takes you out. Exhale to land, and every time your heel is making a real solid connection with that jump board. Good. 
inner thighs zip up like a zipper. Good. All right, you guys. Now we're going to add a little reach with the right arm, okay? So on your next one, you're going to keep jumping. We're going to take that right arm off the carriage and reach it forward. Good. So holding that right there. So you've got a little less support through the upper body. I don't want you to twist, though. Keep those shoulders square to the jump board. Good. Heels still touch down every time we land. Good. You're here for four. Last three. We're going to switch. Last two. Good. On your next one, set that right hand down. And here we go. We're going to lift that left arm as we jump. Good. Nice control. Nice support. If you need to pause and reset, do that. Okay? Jumps can be a little tricky. I don't want you to lose your form. Okay? We should be shaking. I'm shaking. My legs are shaking like a leaf today. Whew. All right, you guys. Holding it here. Good. You've got six. Last five. Good. You know what's next. Four. Both arms, right? Last three. Two. Good. Last one. On this one, I do want you to pause for a moment. Take both arms out. Good. With control. Little hop. Good. Little hop. Now, if both arms is not for you today, you put both palms back down for this, this part of the sequence. Okay? So you can be back where we started. Okay? Or you can have both arms up. Okay? Here we are. This is it. Whew, we're coming on to our last exercise. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I lied. We have one more side of that V-sit. And then our last exercise. You're here for six. Five. Keep zipping up those inner thighs. Four. Three. Two. Whew, last one. And bring it all the way in, you guys. Whew, just take a crisscross position for a second. Second, go ahead and take your hands onto the jump board and reach it out nice and long. Okay, crisscross applesauce with those legs, your Indian style. Stretch out over those legs. Hold it there for just a second. Relieve those hip flexors, because I know after a while, when you're in teaser, the hip flexors just naturally start to grip. Okay? Now, we're going to come onto that other side for the V-sit. So, scooching the booty all the way back, okay? You're close to the shoulder blocks, all right? So that's going to give us more room um, for movement with that arm, that right arm. Now, your heels, just the edges of your heels. So I am petite. I am five foot, so I have more room than most people. But you just need to get your edges, the edges of your heel on there, okay? You're going to sit up nice and straight to start. And now we're going to lean. And then we're going to curl. Okay, don't fall off your machine. So find a position where you can hold that little rounded curl. Pull that belly button up and in. Shoulders are down and back. Okay, we're going to reach forward and we're going to grab that short loop, short strap. From here, left palm is going to start down just for stability. Inner thighs are together. That right arm is in half a T, palm facing down. Keep the right shoulder away from your ear. As you inhale, you twist that right rib across to the left inner thigh. And then back. Good. Inhale, twist. Exhale, back. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it back. Good. So you should feel it through that right side, that those right abdominal muscles really turning on. Whew. Working those deeper layers of the transverse abdominal muscles. Whew. Really getting in there today, guys. It's not easy to cue you through this routine. Not at all. I had a feeling it was going to be tough. But it, it's tough. Tougher than I thought. <laughs> Good, you guys. Keep it going. When there's lots of ab work, it's just so hard to tuck and incorporate that breath, right? But you guys are doing it. I'm proud of you. Good. We're here for four. Good. Last three. Let's take that left arm out. Forgot to do that. Last two. All right, on your next one, you're going to hold it there. That left leg is going to reach long. Really want you to work at opening the back of that left knee as much as possible. Point that toe. Think about that left inner thigh reaching out that big toe. Inhale, reach that right arm across. Exhale, bring it back. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back. Good. Big twist. Good. Pelvis is quiet. Right? It's pretty easy to keep the pelvis quiet. We're here for four. Good. Last three. Good. You've got two. 
and last one. And bring it all the way up, guys. So good. Hang up that strap. Final exercise. Yay, right? Yay. Final exercise. Okay, leave it on one glute. Come onto your back. Okay, we're still focusing on those lovely abdominal muscles, guys. This is going to be the last scorcher. All right, now we're going to stretch legs and straps. Doesn't that sound lovely? Alright, so you're going to bring those short loops into your palms, palms facing forward. We're going to find tabletop with those legs. Okay, we're going to zip up the inner thighs. From here, okay, the inner line of the foot is going to be together. Knees are going to open up just a little bit. Remember, the knees are still off the hip. Okay, and they're tracking, the kneecaps are tracking with big toe, second toe. We're going to come into those froggy bends. Okay, so on your exhale. You're gonna round and curl, reach the straps for the carriage, extend those legs into first position, inner thighs reach long, and then we come back to inner line of the foot, touching knees bent and open. Exhale, round and curl, reach. Inhale, take it back. Good, palms reaching for the carriage. Exhale, reach and lift. Lots of space between the navel and pubic bone. I absolutely love arm arcs because it's real easy for me to think about length on the front body with use of those straps. Okay, so I want you to think about lengthening out, keeping the front of your body as long and flat as you can. Okay, and then all the way back. Good. Exhale, round and curl. And back. Good. Keep it going right here. Good. Last four. Good, last three. Good, you got two. Nice and smooth. All right, you guys, your next one is going to be a hold. So on your next one, you're going to take it out to first position and you're going to hold. From here, we're going to open into a straddle and close. Open and close for four. Last three. We've got two. We're going to incorporate both of those moves. All right, on to your next one. Back to first position. Bring it all the way in. Now we're going to go froggy bend. Reach it out to first position. Bring it back. Now our next one is a hold with that straddle. Lengthen, straddle, close, bring it back. Good. Froggy bend. Reach them long. Bring it back. Next one's a straddle. Reach it long and straddle. Close, bring it back. Good. Froggy bend only. Bring it back. Good. Froggy bend and straddle. And bring it back. Last one. Froggy bend only. Bring it back. Good. Froggy bend and then straddle. And bring it back. Good, you guys. Our next one is the one last hold. We're going to scissor those legs. Inhale, sorry, exhale. Lengthen it all the way out to first position. Inner thighs are going to brush past one another as we scissor those legs up and down. Up and down. Good. For eight. Last seven. We got six. Last five. We got four. Last three. Last two. And bring it all the way in, you guys. Whew, well done. Don't hang up those straps. Actually, yes, let's hang them up because let's add on a spring. Okay, this is going to make the legs and straps a lot nicer. Okay, so come on up. I know we don't want to use those abdominals anymore, right? But come on up and add on a red. So you've got a red and a yellow or a heavy and a light. Okay, come all the way down on your back. Whew, all right. Those legs or those straps are going to come around those feet. We're going to do legs in straps. So one foot at a time. Let's get those feet up in those long loops. Whew. And I want you to lengthen out. Okay, tailbone down. Legs up. Okay, now in this position, make sure your headrest is down for this part. Because um, we'll take it into short spine stretch at the end. Now, inner thighs are together. Legs are in parallel. So toes are shining up. We're in a closed parallel position. I want you to feel for those hip bones. And make sure those hip bones are shining straight up 
to the ceiling. That's going to give you your neutral spine. Tailbone down, little lift in the low back, ribs closed, okay? That's your neutral. Notice my legs are not directly over my hips right here. That peeled my tailbone up and it shifted me into a posterior tilt. So we want to knock that off and get into that neutral spine position, okay? From here, arms long by your side. We're going to hinge the legs forward to a 45 degree angle and then bring them back up to neutral, to neutral. Good. Bring it down. Inhale. Exhale, bring it back to neutral. So we're controlling that position through the pelvis, making sure the pelvis remains quiet as we move those legs through the femur, or the femur bones through the hips. Good. Exhaling back. Good. Take this time to really let the body release. That was a very tough workout. Good. Tap on that core. Really challenge the inner thigh today. That stability and that control. Not easy. Not easy at all. Definitely more of an advanced workout. Good. Hang on to it. You got it. Good. Last three right here. Good. Take this time to just close your eyes. Feel your body. Think about what's happening as you move. Good. Last two. And back. Good. Last one. Good. Now the next time those legs are in that neutral position, okay, we're going to open up at the top into a straddle. Circle those legs down and around. Zip up the inner thighs at that 45 degree angle and bring it back up. Back up to neutral. Open those inner thighs. Take the legs around and down. Good. Finding those little leg circles. Now, You've taken a narrower circle to start and go a little wider if you feel comfortable and you feel like you can control the pelvis and control from the core. It's going to be a little bit more challenge on the core. Good, but I want you to really think about what's happening in your body. Feel the movement in your body. Good, let's go one more in this direction. Bringing it back up. Good, opening at the top. Good. Circling down and around. Good. Now the next time you're back in that neutral or start position, you're going to bring those legs down to the 45 degree angle and here we're going to open. We're going to open into that straddle and circle up and around. Good. You're zipping up at your neutral pelvis position. Okay. I don't want you to let that tailbone peel up. Not yet. That's control through the core. Good. I'm also, it's also making you focus a lot more on what's happening with that body. Good. The more you can start to connect with your body through Pilates, it's amazing what you can achieve. And, and the connection that you can find with your body is just going to allow you to get stronger without getting hurt. Good. Let's go two more in this direction. This feels so, so good, right? I'm getting lost in it myself as I just instruct you through it. I don't do this enough, my own self. Good, all the way down and open. We earned it today. We definitely earned it. Good, now holding it up there, you're gonna reach up for those short loops and you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together. Okay, now we're gonna come into butterfly stretch. So starting off, I want you to really pull on the short loops or you can grab onto the ropes, your choice. Okay, and I want you to use your elbows to press those knees open as you pull the heels close to the hips, okay? So we're not letting the hips open up yet. Right now we're just holding this butterfly position really tight, heels close to the pelvis, elbows hoping, hope, helping those inner thighs open and holding it here and breathing and releasing that grip and that tension for six. Last five, good. You've got four, using your exhale to release. Last three, the last two. On the next one, you're going to release the short loops. Okay, and you're going to keep the soles of your feet together, but you're going to allow the feet to roll down past the edge of the carriage into the springs. Let those straps hang over the inner thigh and just let those inner thighs open. Now, I want you to manage the arc in the low back. We still want to try to hold that somewhat neutral position. Core is tight. Let those arms hang long off the sides of the carriage. Again, not letting our ribs open up too much or our back over arch. Hold that for four. Good. 
Good, last three, big breaths into the rib cage, expanding the ribs towards the sides of the room. Last two. Good, on the next one, you're gonna bring those feet back up. Keep the soles of the feet together, but grab back onto the short loops. Now from here, we're gonna let that right foot go out to the side, flex that foot. Okay, and you're gonna pull on that short loop. I'm still holding that left short loop and that left heel close to the body, but that right leg is extended. My right inner thigh is facing the ceiling and my right foot is flexed. And just hold that stretch. I call this a bow and arrow stretch. Good, hold it right here. Nice big stretch, letting those inner thighs open. Should feel real good for four. Good, last three. Last two. Good, holding that right foot back in, let that left leg extend out to the side. Same thing, that foot is flexed, that left foot. We're reaching that left inner thigh up towards the ceiling, letting those inner thighs open here. You're gonna feel it through both inner thighs. Good, try not to let the hips roll over. Okay, so both hips are down on the carriage. You're here for four, last three, good, last two. Bring that left knee into a bent position again. Now we're gonna close those legs up. We're gonna bring them nice and straight. Okay, back into that neutral position with those legs and that pelvis. Okay, now from here, we're gonna allow the legs to come up or let that tailbone peel up off the carriage. So make sure your headrest is down for this. You do not want it up or you'll tweak your neck. Arms are long by your side. You're gonna let that tailbone lift up off the carriage. Okay, let the weight of the straps pull you up onto your shoulders, okay? And then in this position, you're gonna bend the knees towards the forehead, and you're gonna round and articulate that spine all the way back down to the carriage. Tailbone touches down, legs lengthen all the way back out. Good, and then from here, we take those straight legs in a closed parallel position, back up, letting the tailbone peel off, up onto the shoulders, Good, bending the knees towards the forehead. Good, rounding and articulating through the vertebrae, all the way back down onto the carriage, tailbone down. Once the tailbone hits down, you extend those legs long. Good, and then we take those legs back up. Good, letting the weight of the straps peel you up. Finding that controlled lift, bending the knees. Good, and rounding down. We're going to go one more. Good. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, peel it up. Good. Getting that nice lift. Bending those knees. Good. And rolling, articulating all the way back down. Good. Lengthening all the way back out. Good, bringing those knees back in. Take those straps off. Good, one at a time. Let the carriage come back nice and slow. Hang them up, hug those knees into the chest. Good, give yourself a little rock side to side. Massage that low back just a little bit. Whew, guys, you did it. <laughs> you finished a pretty intense abdominal inner thigh workout. Congratulations, good job, way to go. You'll probably feel those abs tomorrow, right? But it'll be a good feeling, that sensation of working hard. Awesome job, you guys. Now, if you have questions for me or comments for me, please leave them below the video. I check them regularly. I'm happy to answer you. Um, you can find me on social media at Just Be Fit is the same exact name as on YouTube. So I am real easy to find, and I will answer you on either social media or YouTube, either one. If there are things you want to see or things you want to learn about or different types of workouts, Please let me know different props you want to use. All that stuff inspires me to create the next workout for you guys. So I love to hear it. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Awesome job.